Welcome to Crafty Purple Dragon Channel. I've got rather a large box to open. Um, I've tried to put enough space to do so, um, but it takes up my whole table, which means my camera is very precariously placed half on and half off the table. So I'm hoping it doesn't fall. Because if it falls, it's going straight into my television screen. And I can't afford a new telly. So I have to be careful. Okay, so this is my latest thing. Um, maybe I should have took it out of the box before I tried doing anything. Oh my god, how much paper? Jesus. Okay. So inside the box is, you can't even see, another box. Oh, and there's horrible moss on my table now. Let's get off the bottom of this. Yeah. <clears throat> Cheek infecting my table. Uh, right, so that was a bit pointless. Anyway, this is what I've got. Turn it round so that you can read it. Hopefully, it's in shot can't see I've not got a long neck okay so it's an adjustable ergonomic laptop desk model is LT 238H 24 inch tabletop portable sturdy multi-purpose and I don't think there was colour choices um, it's just as it came colour is birch and it's the brand is if you can see it above tech um, so let's try and open it uh, I'm not liking my camera where it is at all. It's making me really nervous. Uh, right. Got these little things that you've got to get out before you can get the other tabs out. So that's as it is in the box. Uh, okay. Let's leave those corner pieces in there. Set this out. Just put that on my chair a minute. Close this up and put the box away. Is there anything else I need to know about in the box? Uh, damn! Get the tabs back in. Uh, look at the back. It's the back of the box. So adjustable angles not to 30 degrees, 9.5 to 13 inch height adjustment, uh, works as bed, sofa, table, laptop stand, standing desk, breakfast tray, reading holder, drawing table, camping table. 
Uh, and then there's some things on this side what features um, so yeah you can read those should you wish hopefully okay so let's have a look and this is it Um, I have, if you've looked at my earlier videos, you'll see that I've got a black um, plastic laptop stand or laptop lap desk thing that I bought a few weeks, a couple of months ago. Um, and that's, that's really good for when I'm sat on the couch the problem I have is this table um, like it's okay for um, unboxings uh, it's great because I can fold it down and it, it stores away virtually flat the problem is it's too low for me for when I'm doing um, diamond paintings so I, I want this for on top of this table um, and I hope that that's that that's what it's going to be suitable for um, so that's why I bought it anyway so these are the instructions uh, It looks pretty straightforward. Uh, so we'll lift the legs out. And then we'll see where that leaves us. They're a bit splayed out, actually. They seem splayed out rather than straight up. Can you see that? That if they're meant to be. Um. Ah, pushing the camera. Oh my god. Oh, we'll see what the light when we turn it over. I'll do it that way because that's the way you are. Oh, right, okay, it's at different heights. So that doesn't help, does it? Right. Uh, so it adjusts. Right, just hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've repositioned the camera because that was really making me nervous. Uh, I was thinking that the. Um, camera was going to go flying into the telly um, right so let me see if I can show you that the angle of these legs seems splayed out I don't know if they're meant to be uh, also the one of them's at the maximum height and the other's at the minimum height so I'm gonna hopefully close it up oh god which is just supposed to be this clip here uh, oh there we go so that's minimum height uh, so if I show you from the sort of from the side so big right so that's the height get a ruler uh, let's 
So from the bottom, which is where the table would be, uh, well, to the bottom of the, the tabletop is nine inches. Uh, so it said nine and a half, uh, half an inch for the tabletop. Um, I'm just going to try that as it as it is at that size for what I need it for. Um, should be okay actually. I mean, it's a bit high, but it can be angled. So let's angle it. And you angle it with these uh, things on either side, and then it angles in stages so that's full and that'd be all right actually to I can't see um, but to sit at that's actually a really nice angle um, to sit in diamond paint at uh, and then I think once you've got it at the right angle you put these clips back down and i show you the angle that it's at, if I can. There. So that's the maximum tilt. Really difficult to show you. Um, but it looks good. It looks like it'll suit my purposes. Um, let's see if I can bring you around. Show you. From this, oh, this angle. Um, uh, so for working on this looks like it'd be ideal um, so yeah so that this I got from Amazon as you saw it was an Amazon box um, these come out to hold the laptop with, and this is, this is rubbery, flexible, bit of a wrist rest I suppose for your mouse, uh, but I might be able to put a tray in there, let's have a look. I'll be able to put a bead tray there, there. Hmm. It's a bit steep for a bead tray really, all the beads will fall out of there I think. Uh, but it's a nice, nice soft thing for your wrist. Maybe try and do the diamond paintings over this side, perhaps. Yeah, I think it'd be good. So that was 35. Let me have a look. Let me see if I can put you down first. Stop you getting, stop you getting seasick. Um. Put you here for now, which means I can't see. I can't see what's going on. There we go. Okay. Uh, there. Ish. Right. It was. Let me have a look on Amazon at my orders. Delivered today. Uh, so there we go. Hopefully, you can see that. Thirty five pounds seventy five. Quite expensive, but if it saves my back on this table. I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. Um, 
and we'll I'm gonna have a go now um, I need to do some more on my colorful cow uh, so I'm gonna have a go at using it so um, hopefully it'll be worthwhile uh, yeah so that's it if you've got any questions or comments please feel free to uh, ask those in the comments section and oop, there we go that just lifts out like that don't want to break my nails um, I think they're too big like for a diamond painting or a light board though uh, oh I've just clipped those in there right. uh, I'll just get my light pad I don't need to get out anyway I hope there's enough light I realise I've forgotten to put my extra light um, I think that's okay on there actually Oh, I like this. I've got like space underneath. I'll be able to put my drill boxes underneath here um, and keep them out of the way. So that's good. Uh, let's just take this off. Uh, this kind of gets in the way. But if I lift it up a little bit like that, do you know what? I like, yeah, be all right. Out of shot, all right? But um, over this side where the where the rubber is, we'll see. Um, it's a nice long surface anyway, nice wide surface. So I shall give that a go. Oh, before I go, I've got a question for you. So I've been, uh, let me just move this up a bit. I've got two work in progress at the moment. Um, I've got my colourful cow that I do on here on the table because it's bigger really than uh, I'd like to use on my lap um, which is round uh, let me just grab it need to get it out anyway Okay, so this is my colourful cow. I should be finished with it soon. Um, you can't see much of it, but I've only got this this section here to finish. This bottom quarter, bottom two thirds of a third, um, and it's round. Uh, and I've I've. I've enjoyed doing it, um, but I've also been doing on my lap, on my lap tray, I've been doing this, which you may recognise from my previous unboxing is, a, is my purple sheet. That's half of it finished and I've got um, half of I've only got a quarter left to do. Um, but my question is, I don't know if I'll be able to illustrate it. Um, let me see if I can put some extra light on the subject, that might help. Uh, so my question about square diamonds okay and I don't think it's an issue for round um, I could put my light board on as well I'll get a thing for it you just plug it in uh, 
way around does it go? I never know which way around it goes. That way. Um, so, that doesn't actually make much difference, does it? Right. So, with round diamonds, let's have a look at round diamonds first. Um, they're round, right? So, I don't see that it makes any difference the orientation that you put them on canvas um, I don't know if this will zoom in and focus I'll have to give it a minute is it going to focus is that focused in can't tell I think it has. See if I can get it nearer. Oh, that's out. Oh. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on. Right, hang on a sec. Right, okay, so. I don't think it matters the orientation of the diamonds because they're round so the f the facets have been cut into them like evenly because they're because they're circular but I don't think it's the same for square right and the question I have is, let's just see if this is zoomed in again. Hold on. Right, that seems to be as close as I can get the camera to zoom before it has a fit. Um, I'm just struggling to illustrate my point, I think. The, the thing that I've found with these diamonds is... Because they're square, they, they've kind of got a direction, it seems. And I don't know if you can see, but for example, here. Is that even in shot? It's not even in shot, is it? Here, right. I'll try and zoom in when I'm editing. We've got diamonds which are oriented square so they're square onto this direction this way and this way but then so that's that one and this one next to it to the right of it here is running the the top of the cup is running in this direction so as you look at it that one and the one above it the top is like a diamond shape instead of being a square shape like this one because of the way I've only noticed it I'm like nearly finished this painting and I've only just noticed it and my question is does it matter with square beads, does it matter that that they're not all oriented the the same way? Um, you know, there's some that are, are that are running that way with the square cut on the top, uh, and there's some that, like I say, are on a bit of a diagonal, so they're running that way with the square on the top. Uh, maybe I should do a drawing to illustrate uh, if I could find some paper uh, the back of a bank statement because what else are they any good for right pencil 
so if you've got the top cut on the diamond is square like 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 that isn't but you get me right now to you that's looking like a diamond shape and that that's my point really is does it matter that the top of the diamond is oriented square as you look at the painting or a diamond shape as you look at the painting a combination of those across the picture just as they are put down or not I don't know that I'm really explaining myself when you put your diamonds down on when you're doing square paintings and you put your diamonds down do you worry does is it something that you're consciously thinking about when you put them down which way they're oriented with the top sh the, with the top square on the diamond uh, I better zoom this camera out it's getting a bit upset so I'm not sure if I got my point across there but um, it's this issue of when you put a square diamond down do you make sure that they're all square running in rows across the picture would you rather have them as diamond shapes running across the picture or are you not bothered do you just put them down as they turn up on your pen uh, and if you'd like to answer my really long and drawn out and convoluted question in the comments section that would be most appreciated thank you for your time thank you for joining me I hope to see you next time Bye.